Mint Green Ford F-150 occupied by two white males. We're north on Central right now from Maine. Go ahead and start me some units. I'm just going to follow until I get someone. This vehicle in front of us is supposed to be stolen. We're north on Central at 11th Street right now. Just turned east onto 11th, dead end. Five, I've initiated a traffic stop. Okay, of course, he's there, too. Five, they're trying to duck on me. Five, in pursuit. Traveling west on East 11th. Passenger showing his hands like he's trying to get out of the truck. West on East 11th. Passenger for wanting no part of this. Driver just threw something out north on Park Street. North on Park. Eighty-four notified, gentlemen. East on 10th, back towards Central. Passenger just tried to bail. Eight something. North on Fairview. North on Fairview. East on ML King. He's about to bail. Driver's going to bail. Get ready. Five, we're rolling towards Central Avenue. I believe the vehicle's dead. I've got a unit behind me. We're on Central. We're at Flynn Street right now. He's trying to get a crank. Passenger's trying to bail. East on Flynn Street. Five, you got some units headed towards Macaulay. Get them up on Macaulay. Flynn's going to turn into Macaulay. North on O'Neill. Passengers just bailed. Stand by, vehicle stopping. <laughs> He's reaching for something. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Get on the ground! Taser, taser, taser! Get on the ground, man! Oh, oh, God, please don't show me your hands! Don't move! Don't move! Stay on the ground! Stay on the ground! Roll over your back! Roll over your back! Please don't do no more, please, I beg you. Five, we got both units in custody. Oh, God. Start 20, one unit's been tased. Come on, Macaulay. Turn south on O'Neill Street just before the new Cancuz. Give me your hands. You ain't got to be aggressive, man. I'm doing it. Not being aggressive, man. Just doing it the way I'm supposed to. Please don't be aggressive, sir. Not being aggressive. Stay just like you are. What are you running for, man? Huh? Why are you running? You running because the truck's stolen? No, it belongs to my girlfriend. Belongs to your girlfriend? Your girlfriend reported it stolen. Lillian, where's the bolts at in him? Prongs are still in him. Get him on his butt at least. All right, bud. Roll over. Sit up on your bottom. Stay just like you are. Do you have any weapons or anything on no, you? Sir. No, sir. Knives? Anything? I think the engine died on ML King. It's pretty much from ML King all the way over here. It looks like he was struggling, trying to get the thing going. Passenger bailed out. Finally, he just bailed, took off running. Um, took off running. He started crossing the street towards the hill, like his head towards the tracks. And when he first came out, it looked like he was digging down in his pockets. So I was giving him verbal commands, get down, show me his hands and stuff. And right as he got into this intersection, it looked like he was slowing down. He was coming around. I didn't know if, if or what he had in his hands. I had my taser, so I deployed and gave the commands for taser and executed. All right, you're aware you have to transport him to early? That's correct, yes. Good deal? Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you, sir. Are you suspended, revoked, unlicensed, expired? What are you, man? What are you? Looks like I'm screwed. 
Well, yeah, that you are, but I'm talking about your license. Well, you're in possession of a stolen vehicle, that's all that matters. And you ran from me, that's not cool. So what's wrong with your driver's license? Suspended, revoked, expired, unlicensed, what are you? Suspended, what are you suspended for? Running from us? What we got? I was in uh, the uh, his passenger's uh, coin pocket on the right side. Excellent, good deal. Away. All right. What were y'all throwing out of the windows? I didn't throw nothing out the windows. What was he throwing out the window? I have, sir, I don't know him, okay? I swear to God I don't know him. You don't I know swear him? He's been running around with him for the last hour and a half? My backpack and sleeping bag is in the... He told me he was going to go get a 12-pack and we're going to stop off and drink some beer. And that's what we did, okay? And we got back in the truck, and the next thing I know, the police were behind us. And he said, well, I'm not going to jail. I'm going to run. I said, well, let me out. I don't want no part of this. And I threw my hands out the window the whole time. You do understand that you are being charged for the narcotics that you were found with. What? Less than half a joint? Half a joint and a little bit of marijuana. Well, that's all it was. Well, that's what you happens, know, man. Out west, I just give you a ticket. Well, go back out west. Uh, well, You're on the east coast now, man. All right, but, yeah, I, I a little differently. I, I don't mean that. Man. I know, I know. Just, I'm a nice guy, okay? Well, you are a nice guy. I ain't going to argue that for one minute. Stand up. On your feet. Ready? All right. Understand something, Russell. Somebody turns on the blue lights, that means we want you to stop for one reason or another. All right? It's not a good thing to run. I'm sure you know that's a felony, and I'm charging you with it. Okay? Don't do that. All right? When you jump out of the vehicle and you start to run from me and I'm telling you to stop, I'm telling you to get down on the ground, whatever, you stop, you get down on the ground. I'm not being hard on you. I'm just letting you know for future reference. I'm trying to help you out in the future. Say again? Charging you with possession of stolen vehicle, charging you with felony evasion, charging you with evading arrest, charging you with DUI, I'm charging you with implied consent. All right, it's not a good thing to run. It's filled up and uh, now on its way. Not there right now. Will, they're moving awfully fast. You think they got it yet? That's All right, I'll go snatch him. We're trying to catch up to this car. They just made a drug deal, and now he's trying to get away from us. There's no so we're going to try to catch up to him. That's him all the way up there. 24, channel 1. All right, back passengers moving around. 182. Stop moving around. Show me your hands. 182. I got a mover. Code one, please. Three inside. My man, put your hands up where I can see him right now. Don't do that again. Put him on the back of the headrest. I'm going to be getting on with them. This morning is um, east and middle code two. Driver, put your hands on the wheel. Passenger, put your hands on the dash. Don't take them off. Driver, reach over, turn the car off. And what's that location? Keep your hands there, don't move. All right, understood, sir. Get out. Why'd you keep putting your hands down when I tell you not to? How hard is it to understand? Stop reaching down. Get your cut out, right? I, I never... That's all you get. Yeah. Keep your feet apart. 182, code 4. Patients responding to east and middle. It's going to be code 4. You got no need on that, right? Come on, man. All right. I gave you your option. Right? Walk over there. You know? Either the back of seat or it's in his shoes. Put your hands on a wall. Last chance to be honest with me. I'm gonna charge you with tampering with evidence. Last chance. I don't. I don't. Last chance. How many times would I have to tell you to show me your hands? You don't show me your hands? Yeah. Stop that. I didn't. I didn't. I don't have nothing in my shoes. Why were you reaching now? Why did I have to put you at gunpoint and put your hands up there? My T was open. And then, and then the lips flip. Use one three two oh, four six zero for each of the car. middle. Keep your feet apart. Why are you shaking yeah. like this? Because huh? I'm nervous. You should be nervous. Right now, I never. There's, yes. a, uh, there's a stamp bag under the seat, and there's an empty bundle. I mean, uh, 
Bundle band. He must got it in his shoe. Put your hands behind your back, because I ain't gonna fight with you, all right? All right. Is it in your shoe? No. Sit down. I'm gonna find it if it's in here. You wanna be honest with me? Hey, sir. Let me do that. And you get it. He got a dope down in his pants. You got a down in there? It's, uh, it's in my What's that? It's in my Up your ass or just there? <laughs> no. <laughs> there, dude. Turn around. Turn around. 1956. Lift your arms up. You holding it in there or what? No, man. It's is it just there. loose it's in, there? in there? No, it's not just loose in there. You can hold oh. it. Hmm? Hold still. Oh, 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 dude. I told It's uncapped, Jimmy. Watch yourself. I told him that it was there. Do you have anything else on you? There it is. Right there. There's the right there. Be back in. I'm going to be down to the top for you. One, three, two, four, four, eight. That's it, buddy. I'm not your buddy, all right? All right. You're sir, not in very good sir, graces with me sir, right now. Sir. The last thing I want to find is an uncapped needle on it wasn't somebody. It's uncapped. I told you it was on it's my It's now. That's why I asked you not to sit down. Is it in your shoes? No, sir. Take them off. There's that cap. He was looking for it. Step up. Oh, yeah. He might have got it fairly well up inside of him, too. All the way. Did you're at the station on detail or from the station? Uh, he got some up his He does. That's what he was shoving. Yeah. You gonna get it out? Yeah. I told you. He got, it's a needle. What is it, a needle? Do you have a needle in there? He, he's got heroin up there, too. Yeah. Is it cap? Yeah. A cap needle. That's the cap of the needle. Yeah. Okay. That shook out. So now he has an uncapped needle up his up his rectum. Yeah, that's the. Okay. Look, I'm gonna uncuff you, and right. you're gonna get it out. If you do anything stupid, you'll regret it for a very long time. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Just drop it. Drop it down your pant leg. You got anything else up there? Nope. Bend down. Bend down. Let him bend squat down. down. Squat, squat down. Squat down. Squat. Put your legs together and squat. Cough. <clears throat> That's it, man. I stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, well, we got two out of three. Third one he left today, but he'll be back. This guy's lucky. He's going home today. <laughs> yeah. One out of three. Go ahead. Take care of yourself, man. Say he was five months clean, yeah. and yesterday he relapsed. And you guys you ever try to get clean? Yeah. How long did you make it? Two years. You were clean for two years? Almost three. Almost three. How long have you been back on? A month. A month? How many bags are you doing? Four a week. Now's the time to get back off. When you're reduced to the point in your life where you're doing this kind of stuff, you should be embarrassed at that. If you go to the lengths to shove something up your rectum to hide it, that's time when you need to start looking at your life and trying to make some changes. Good luck. Okay, are you there? There's somebody in her house, okay? So I woke up and I noticed that somebody was in her bathroom and he was in the bathtub taking a bath. <laughs> it's just, oh. Do you know who that guy is at all? No. Okay, well, we're on our way. <laughs> The call we're heading to right now is a, a burglary in progress. It's also a gun call. Um, it's a little confusing. I know that I know it's a burglary. I know there's a gun involved, but what I don't know is who's got the gun, whether it's the good guy or the bad guy. And one of the people is in the bathtub, whether it's a good guy or the bad guy. I don't know that either. Where you at? Where you at?
Got some ID in there? No. What's your name? Andy. What is it? Andy. Andy, what's your last name? What do you need me to do, Ray? Um, find some clothing for this man. Oh, let's just lay up. Andrew, what's your address? Go back over. Oof. Just it does that's a good place to I guess he was the one that was in the shower, huh? Here's, here's, here's a story real quick. Homeowner comes here, finds him in there taking a bath, doesn't know who he is. This homeowner's gun, homeowner confronts him with a shotgun. So, whoever he is, nobody knows who he is. What's his first name? Andy. From Minnesota? From Minnesota. I think he's the same guy Jerry and I contacted. So, uh, check out Minnesota. Does he yeah. do anything with this car or just have him on his way? Ah, uh, they're getting dead right now. Okay. Roll over your butt. It's on your butt. Put your legs and feet underneath you when I lift you up, okay? Yep. One, two, three. Let's go. Ready, buddy? Ready, buddy? Okay. Roll. You see the bathtub? Yeah. He was dirty. <laughs> Check out the bathtub. He's in there taking a bath. When did you guys go home? When did you go to bed? Me and my girlfriend, we got in a scuffle in the room, you know, we were bitching back at each other, blah, 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 blah. So she came out of her sleep on the couch. Me, being me, I'm, you know, come out of here, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, I'll sleep out here, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I figured my roommate was home. And, you know, I figured she's on in the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. I went in the bathroom, you know, and we are being loud, you know, figured... No one's dumb enough to So you were him. already home when he came in and started yeah. taking a bath? Yeah. Then, you no, know, my girlfriend walks back in there and she comes back out and she goes, Rachel, huh? Blah, blah, blah. And she opens the front door and looks to see if Rachel's boyfriend's truck was here and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, there's a bag and some other <laughs> on the front porch. Da, da, da. And I said, what? And she walks back to the bathroom and she comes running back out and she says, Ryan, there's some <laughs> dude in our bathroom. I just instantly grabbed a gun and went <laughs> right in the bathroom. I said, what the are you doing? You know, dude, I would have caught you unexpectedly taking a bath. I would, I would have ran back to the room, got the gun, and shot you. Did he to you? No. He's like, he was acting cool like I was just standing just there talking there. to him. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looks like he cut the screen or just pulled the screen right out of the... Pulled the rubber molding piece off the screen and climbed in right here. And he used the ladder to get up. That makes it easy. So what was he doing in the bathtub? Taking a bath. Just like like it was his house. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know if it. I don't know what kind of drugs he's on either. So you know, I mean, I don't know if he into that kind of erotic or anything. But we never said anything to you and didn't say no, anything to your boyfriend. No, because he didn't see me. Because I just I seriously came like right here, mm -hmm. leaned over and saw him right there. Okay. And I walked right back to the porch or right back to the to the love seat right there and said, Ryan, there's somebody in our house. Okay. Nothing else missing or anything out of here or anything, right? Um, Your bathroom, kitchen, know. didn't notice like, anything? Ryan didn't leave, so... Is that bubble bath? Yeah, that's my bubble bath, too. Damn, he used all of it, too. So. That's my bubble bath. I don't know. Um, do you guys got, like, a... a Giant plastic, sanitizer kit a, for your bathtub? No. A plastic glove I could use, at least. These mm -hmm. weren't open. Mm. What kind of drugs you used to mine? This is the same guy that Jerry and I ran into probably two or three weeks ago. He's been living on the streets, I think, since then. You saw how dirty his pants were. They shook him off and just plumed so everybody. So he just came in here to take, he a, take a bath. He just came in to get cleaned up a little bit before he goes and messes around with somebody else, I guess. Andy, how many different officers have you met since you've been in Spokane? I don't know. A lot? A lot of them. Well, what happened tonight? Why'd you meet us tonight? I needed to shave. Did you start shaving? Just my uh, face. Get this one. Let me see, what'd you get? Just enough. Oh, they, they got you right in the middle of the shave, huh? Maybe. How'd you get in the house? Through a screen. Yeah, did you get a good good bath? Yeah, it was short enough. <laughs> it got shortened up a little bit, huh? A little how, bit. Long, how long were you in the bathtub before they came in there? Long enough. Long enough to get a partial shave but not get that stash off, huh? So that's your story and you're sticking to it. You needed a shave and a bath. Yep. All right, Andy. We need to stop, stop meeting.
away. Keeps us busy. You know, it's, it's got a good mix of people here, and uh, it's, we're a decent enough size uh, department that you can get into some, some other fields and whatnot, so it, it's a good fit for me, and, and I, I believe it's a good fit for Officer Anderson as well. We're on our way right now to a person with a weapon, a saw called Trouble Unknown. We don't really know what's going on. There's a uh, male in a plaid shirt jumping people's fences. Uh, he's possibly armed with a knife. We don't really have any information right now. This guy apparently is on drugs. We're going to contact him, see what his deal is. This guy's wanted to. Get on the ground! Lay down! Lay down on the ground! Lay on the ground right now! Roll over! Roll over! All right, stop. Oh, Quick man, fight. No, stop. Pull your arms out. Quit resisting. Hands out. Stop resisting. Pull your arms out. Hands out. Put your arms out okay, now. Everyone, everyone, let me go. Put your arms out now. Put your arms out now. I can't breathe. No, don't let me. Hit him again. Please, God. Stop resisting. Stop fighting. Get your hands out from underneath you. Get your hands out from underneath you now. Stay where you're at. Please let me go. What's your deal today, man? Uh, I saw this guy on the flyer, he might be wanted. What's your name, man? Mike what? Mike what? You got any ID on you today? No? Let's pat him down. Any weapons on you? Just relax. Uh, What's your problem today, man? I have no problem today. It's going to get my bike. You hopped up on something? No. What are you using? I'm sitting at the river, man, drawing pictures. What are you using? Sitting like my face. Just What's your deal, man? I'm, that hurt, man. Who did that to me? They stuck me really hard. Why Stay where you're at. Like Stay where you're at. Do you, are you our complainant? Do you call? What me? Uh, uh, right now, I'll do it. 375, we have one detained. We're code four. I just push him back over the fence when he tried to come in. What's going on, man? Uh, this guy actually came up to me. I was just standing out here. I just seen him walking on the street. Uh, he hit his arms all up like this. And okay. He was walking on the street, staggering, talking to the sky. Uh -huh. He was uh, looked like he was sky hunting methamphetamines right. or, or some kind of drugs. And uh -huh. he threatened. He came up to me and he threatened to kill me. And, and this guy actually heard him from yeah, further down the block. Okay. What, what, what exactly did he say? He said, I'll, I'll kill you. And then he ran up to me and tried swinging on me okay. about two times. And I had to back up. And I actually had to run okay. backwards. Okay. Did, what? did you feel like he was uh, going to carry out that threat today? Oh, yeah. Absolutely? Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you definitely felt threatened? I today? felt definitely threatened by this guy. Okay. He's a pretty big dude. He's got a lot of rings on him. He right. probably could have... I, I, uh -huh. I was outside cleaning my yard, uh -huh. or my street, uh -huh. and I saw him, this guy right here, over here at his house, and this guy right here, like, oh, God, I saw him uh, walking up and down here, pacing up and down, threatening people walking as he's walking by. And I was like, dude, I hope somebody calls cops on if I because they haven't done nothing lately for okay. me anyway. So. All right. Okay, so you heard him threatening him. What exactly did he say he to goes, him? He goes, I'm going to shoot you with a gun. Okay. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys sit tight for one second, okay? Yep. All right, bro. Jerry. Yeah. Felony harassment, too. Felony harassment. Yeah. Dope. Okay. Obstructing. Okay. We've got a transport car coming. Okay. Oh, where's the dope at? It's in that little, that little thing. Oh, this here? Okay. These are probably hydrocodone. Doesn't have his name on them. Okay. Hop up, man. He's about to make it over your fence, wasn't he? No, you were. He's about to make it over your fence. Yeah, you blocked him, didn't you? No, I appreciate it. Thanks. You have a good... All right, you have a good day, man. Pretty feet apart. You got any needles on you? Get off the car. Huh?
Searching yeah. you right now. Why are you shooting right now? Any needles on you or anything like that? No, no man. I'm going to see what are you guys doing. You're under arrest. I already told you that. Why am I under arrested, man? It's looking like you're under arrest now I, I for a truck on my bike. Yeah, my bike is so I come get it today. Very non-compliant, Dave. He tried uh, making it over this fence as we were trying to get to him. This guy blocked him from getting over his fence, and that's when we grabbed him. We need photos of him for anything uh, before we uh, put him in. You know, there's there's no marks from the taser on the back of his neck. Okay. So good deal. We're feeding him. We're We're feeding him. Now. We pulled up, stop. The suspect's in the middle of the street, supposed to have a knife. And uh, he we get out, tell him to stop, tell him to get on the ground. He takes off running this direction. This fella here blocks him from getting over the fence, kind of keeps him from coming over. Okay. And we go on the ground right in front of the fence and he starts fighting with us so I threw the cartridge off my taser and basically under arrest for obstructing at that point touched on him once on the back of the neck got a little bit of compliance but he still wouldn't give us his hands and still kept him underneath his body so I gave him another one and we were able to wrestle his arms out from underneath him so okay and passers and took knives and whatever hard out of him real quick found that little can canister he's under arrest for obstructing took that little canister off him got a those arms out from underneath him so okay and passers and took knives and whatever found that little can canister he's under arrest for obstructing took that little canister off him got a the meth okay so he's gonna go to jail for that as well a lot of stuff that goes on i get to dress up and grow the beard and the hair and uh, i get to have a lot of fun with it and the family gets to enjoy it too we get to do a lot of things uh that that most people don't get to see and, and do. I just saw a guy. He had a, uh, it's a short guy. He had a baggie of, of uh, dope in his hand, and he didn't see that I saw him. So I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to try to try to get up on him before he runs. Come here, partner. How you doing? Pittsburgh Police. Hands up. What's all this about? Ho, ho, ho. Come here. Don't ho, ho, homie. What are you talking about, about, ho, ho? Put your hands up there. Put your hands up. What is all this about? Put your hands up. Come on, man. What is all this about, man? I ain't ain't never did nothing wrong, man. What are you doing? If you don't put your hands up, you're about to get... What are you doing, man? You hear me? What are you doing? You hear me? It's somebody else. No, no, no. Come on, man. Don't... Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Put him up. Do it. On your head. Get on your knees. Do what I tell you. What's the problem with that? Get on your knees. This is crazy. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do, man? Come on, man. What did I do, man? Put them. What did I do, man? Put your hands behind your back. What did I do? No, no, no. Man. Behind your back. Man. Do it right now. Behind your back. I can't. How am I? Roll over. How am I? Put it behind my back. Uh, I saw it. I saw it. Put it behind my back. You on me, man. I don't have nothing on me, man. Come on, man. I, ain't got I saw it. On. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. I don't have nothing on me, man. Put, put it in the sewer. Man, I ain't even. T- I ain't got nothing on me, man. Damn. I don't have nothing on me, man. You just dump no, dope right down that nothing. sewer. I, did not t- I, I ain't dog, nothing, and I saw you do it. Oh, you don't talk to me. Outside. Don't talk to me. Come on, man. Stand man. up. Look at this, man. Yeah, look at it. Look at this, Look man. at it. Hey, look at this, man. This is crazy, man. I don't got it on me, man. Nothing. Man, he, Let me this. put him in your car, Luke. All right? Yeah, he threw a bunch of dope down man, that sewer. That helmet throw it in the sewer and I have my hands behind my back. This is crazy, man. Look at this, man. This is crazy. Get in there. He threw a bag of dope right down here, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. How about as soon as I turn him, I saw him when I drove up. He put a bag of dope down the front of his pants. I turn around on I get out on him. He starts not fighting, wrestling with me a little bit. I put him on the ground, and he dropped it right down there. And I don't so know how I'm going to get it. out of these cars, I wonder. I got it, Frank. All right, hold it. Don't get, put that under it. And I'll do it again. Is that a fight? 
Look at that right there. Here, pull this in up right here. Yeah. There it is, right there. It's that crack right there. See it? That's yep. The wall? Yeah. It's right there on that napkin. There, is there one on the wall too? Okay. No, I can see it. Yeah, that's it. That's a good idea. We're gonna do the dry Can you reach it, Frank? I don't know, Tom. Let me try. Hold on. I'll hold you. You ain't gonna get it like that. You're gonna spill my crack. Here, Frank, I'm reach. Yeah, Sarge, reach your big long arm down in there and get that. Right there. Got it? No. No, it's still there. Right there. You're working me now. Feel around. <laughs> I think I got one knotted bag out of it. Right, hang, hang on right there. I think a piece just yep, fell out. Yeah, just fell right there. Ah, yeah, gotcha. Back up. Killing me. You got some of it. Yeah, okay. Nice. We got a, uh, a bag of crack, probably about a 10 knotted bag ends. Oh, yeah, no. No, it's all right. I saw it. That's good. Thanks, man. <laughs> I've had guys fight with me and do everything they can, swallow dope, throw dope in bush and trash cans. I've never had anybody throw dope down a sewer right in front of me. First time for this. What are you going to do? Go in and get it. Yeah, I'm done, Sarge. What did you think was going to happen? Come on, man. What did you think was going to happen? You saw me look at you. And that's why I stopped. You saw me, I saw you put it right down your pants. Man, how, what do you mean, no, I didn't? Did you see, what did I put down my pants? You put that bag of crack right, I turned right around. Why do you think I came back on you? I want to come bump you or something? I was just going to come and say what's up? Why would I do that? Is that what you call cooperating? Hey, 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 no, 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 you can't ask me anything. Is that what you were doing, cooperating? You at no. Answer my question first. Can I ask you a question? No, I wasn't. Answer me. No, you weren't. Okay, now what do you want to know? Can I ask you a question? What? So if you're just driving, you're driving down the spot that you see? People, I do it to see? everybody I everybody see put crack down see? the front of their pants. That's, That's exactly what I do. So you just that, you just automatically assume I got crack on me. I just I'm that good. Pow. Oh, man. You're caught, man. Done. Pow. Oh, man. You're caught, man. Done. <laughs> here in the state and I think that's what uh, has kept me here as long as I've been here. We've uh, been dispatched to a disturbance with a gun. There's a subject supposedly brandishing a handgun and there's a dog involved in which possibly the uh, person with the gun is actually giving the dog uh, or commands or allowing the dog to bite another subject that's involved in a physical fight. How I got what? How you got the injuries? You got the bruise on your neck? You he bit so. me here. Um, this is probably just from rolling around on the ground. That's probably just for pavement. Rolling around out oh, here with the guy, dog. No, with, with him. him. With the dog and him both. At first he sicked the dog on me, and then he came at me and hit me in the ear. It's still ringing. Other night he didn't really get a okay. slug in, but you also have a, looks like a bruise on your uh, right temple. Do you know how you got that one? Probably from that because I didn't have it before this. Nothing specific. Just hello. Right. Do you see all this out yeah, here? Right. Yeah, pretty much. I've seen the, the end of it anyways. Okay. We just got yeah. home. We were unloading groceries. Hey, goodbye. And then goodbye. Aaron, my wife, came out on the porch. She said, call 911. Call 911. So I went ahead and said, you call 911. I came out here, and there was a guy and his dog and another individual there out here attacking Kirk. The dog, the owner of the dog was telling him to sick him on him, and the other guy was saying, I'm going to get a gun. And we're like, hey, just calm down, everybody. Let's just calm down now. This isn't, this isn't either. There's children around. There's kids around. What's going on here? And then he started, he started shouting at my, my wife and calling her names. I was like, hey, that's my wife, guy. How much did your wife see? She seen a little bit more than me because she was the one that notified me that everything was going down when I came out. 
All right, Erin, I understand you witnessed what was going on out here. Um, I heard a dog barking really loud, and I came out. Kirk's a really good friend of ours, and the dog was biting him. And some they were on the ground rolling, and um, that guy was just beating the heck out of him. The other guy was egging him on, the passenger. What did the guy look like that you say was fighting with Kurt directly? I've seen him before, actually, a bunch of times. Um, he had um, was shirtless. He had jeans on, blue jeans, and I don't know... He had some tattoos. Okay. But I don't know the how guy, to say little his guy. Face. He's a tall guy. Okay. Tall. Did you see the dog attack Kurt? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. And was somebody sending the dog to do that or uh -huh. what happened? Okay. Both of them. The one that was egging it on the most was the passenger. He was egging him on, sick him, sick him, just like telling the dog to bite him. And then they were yelling at me to call the cops, so I did. Mm -hmm. And when the guy saw me on the phone, he pulled out the gun. He said, you're going to call the cops, bitch. I'll kill you. So, um, what happened up there on Latouche, exactly? I uh, went there and my buddy here got in a fight with another guy. And the guy grabbed a hammer when the dog was, Matt's dog was biting him. So I didn't like it, so he cracked him a few times with the hammer. Uh, we left, and here we are. Where were you standing when all this initiated? I was right here between, I don't know, five feet away? Five feet away. Yeah. Did you see either of these individuals we're looking at here actually uh, send the dog on Kurt? Or hear them say anything to the I dog. heard the guy with the green hat saying sick him. You heard the guy with the green hat say sick him to the dog. Okay. Sick him to her, right. There's still a question about a hammer, and one of these subjects uh, are apparently stating that they may have been struck by a hammer. Did you see that occur? I didn't see anybody get struck with a hammer. I know I've seen Kirk pick up a hammer, and it was a complete self-defense mechanism. Uh huh. And it was it was a deterrent to keep the subject away from him. Okay. I went over there, and uh, he came out of his house and issued a challenge. I, I walked across the street behind his back. The first thing he did was he swung it at my face. And the, hammer, out. the hammer came out right at first, or were you guys right already involved first. before the hammer came nope. out? Nope. I can tell you that I have several people that live over there in that area, some that know Kurt, some that don't, that are telling me that he didn't have the hammer when you guys first uh, got into it in the street, that he only went back for the hammer in self-defense after you and your dog had attacked him in the middle of the street. Yeah, and that's not true about us attacking him. I mean, he was the first to start swinging and stuff. He was standing well, outside. You his understand house. how it looks, though. You went there, right, Matt? I mean, I you went to him. That's right? why I'm here right, right now, and I'm probably going to go to jail over the whole thing or whatever. And, and that was my mistake. But, and and what's the scoop with the dog? With the because I've also got several witnesses that say that uh, your friend here was actually sicking the dog on Kurt, saying those words telling the dog to get him. I don't know what they were doing because I was in the middle of an altercation, but I never submitted it. I told my dog like five different times to get back in my motorhome again. Okay. And the witnesses should testify to that too. Okay. Again, these also, witnesses are all Kirk's friends and neighbors. Not all of them. No, that's what I'm telling you. Not all yeah. of them. Okay. Anything else, Matt? No, sir. That's it. Okay. Go off tape at about 10.31 p.m. Um, have you photographed him? Yes. Okay. All right. If you just hang tight, I'm going to talk to him real quick. Hi, sir. Hi. There's a female in the area that apparently was saying she was going to call the cops, and she says that you made a threat to her when you were holding a gun. That's not true. Well, did you have words with her of some sort? No. If it's the brunette that was upstairs in the middle apartment, uh -huh. she was telling Matt, yelling down at Matt, I'm going to call the cops, I'm going to call the cops. No, that gun was in my hands a, a matter of 20 seconds. I showed the CO2 mm -hmm. gun, showed him that, and I laid it back down. I didn't wave it, I didn't point, I didn't do anything. I'm not a troublemaker, period. Okay. I mean, I did not, I'm not stupid enough to aim a gun at anybody. I'm not an idiot enough to threaten someone with his life. I'm a single. I don't want to get in trouble over this. All right, Matt. I need you to put your phone in your pocket. Officer, I need you to turn around for me. Turn around. Are you me, turn sir? around. Put your hands behind your back. Spread your feet apart for me. Officer, what did I do? What did I do? You're under arrest for two counts of assault. Please, I'm a single father. I didn't do anything. All right. Officer, this one. Please. This side. I can't believe this. What am I being arrested for? Well, the assault. So we're looking at felony assault on the shirtless guy over there for the dog portion, for allowing his dog to bite the other guy on Latouche. We're looking at a misdemeanor assault for the physical stuff with him instigating or being the primary aggressor in the fight with the guy. We're looking at two counts of felony assault on the guy over there for actual shins. If you have a good work ethic, good background, then uh, you're welcome here at the Anchorage Police Department. Right now we're getting a call to a disturbance where a male is arguing with his family. Um, 
at one point he did threaten to uh, apparently shoot himself with a gun, but that gun has been taken away and has been hidden in the home. So we're going to go, and we got a couple other officers en route to that. We're going to go find out what's going on. Hi. We got a, we got information about a gun. Where did that come from? I took it from him. When? Before he got up. Where is that now? I got it in my closet. Do you think you can find it? Is I'm there not going in there with him in there. He's drinking Bacardi 151. Has he been making any threats to hurt himself today? He was going to shoot himself. When was that? Before I took the gun. Okay, what time was that? No. I don't know, maybe two minutes ago. Okay. There he is. Okay, outside. Oh, man. F*** you! Yeah, God, you I'm going to tell you. I'm going to hit you, pull your dog. Here. Don't move. Get down, Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Right now. X-37, now uh, we need your code three. 37 code three. I want you to get down on the ground right now. Get down to your knees. Get down to your knees. You want to call, call, shoot me. Derek, Derek, go to your knees for us, man. We don't want to hurt you. Hey, Derek, talk to us, man. What's going on? Man, this. My son don't get on me. Show me. Right here, right here. Okay. Make it feel good. Come on. What you wait for? Okay, Derek, Derek. See three feet from my face. Right here. Derek, go to your knees. Hey, Derek, stop. Stop, 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 Derek, stop. We just want to talk to you, man. We just want to talk to you. Hands on. Stop fighting. We're resisting. <laughs> Stop your fighting right now! <laughs> We're resisting! We're resisting! We're resisting! We're resisting! Oh, yeah. uh, well, we're going to go in here and uh, recover the weapon that he was threatening himself with earlier. On top of the furniture? There we go. Watch out. Did you hear that open? Think it's empty. Where did the bullet? On the floor somewhere. Did you check already or no? No, I didn't check. Okay, are we ready to uh, take this gentleman? Uh, okay. You want to put him in my car or your car? Is, it, is this your car right here? Yeah. Small. Why don't you just do that? Oh, it's a oh, pole. Will he fit that? We can try. All right, if he does, not get Please. my car. Hi, Derek, let's go. So do you want to hang on to that one way? Like? Relax. Okay. Let's go. Give him a hand. You got it? Oh, yeah, it's it This one right here. Hey, Derek. No. Oh, hey, Derek. Keep, walking. keep on walking. Keep on walking, man. Next time, do us a favor. Don't fight with us. We're just I'm here to help you, man. I'm well, we're gonna we're gonna get you some help here. Okay. So, Derek, you understand we don't want to hurt you, right? Yeah, no. Okay? I know you. And when you start walking away from us, we had to do something. I know. Okay. And like I said, we're only here to help you. 
Oh, you would have shot me. Well, that's not that's not a good res resolution to this. <laughs> okay. I would have died the way. Why do you want to die, Dad? Why do you want to die? You want to feel like this guy is probably not like you? <laughs> I'm gonna lift up your pants like this. Look at your thigh. Or your... <laughs> I this is the first time I acted like this. First time cops been over here, isn't it? Um, so what did you get when you got here? Well, we, we had uh, several people we were talking to about what was going on as we were talking to him. He, we could hear some yelling. Some of the neighbors had come out when you pulled some out? Of the, some of the res the, actually, uh, the mom and the sister, I believe it is, that were here, met us over here. Okay. And uh, as we were talking to them, we hear a bunch of screaming coming from over this way, and he steps out into the roadway, and he uh, ends up putting his hands up and telling us to shoot him, shoot him. Uh, wouldn't listen to any of our instructions. Uh, we told him multiple times to go to his knees. He refused to, and he just continued to ask us to shoot him. Um, then he ended up uh, turned around and started walking back toward the uh, trailer. We came around the trailer. He'd stumbled up the stairs, it looked like, and he was just standing up when we decided to go hands-on. And just as I went uh, for his belt, he turned around and swung and hit me in the side of the head, and then we all just kind of fell down and started wrestling with him. So it sounds like you've got three charges of assault on a police officer and probably a DV assault against the mom. Yeah, and probably uh, a resisting as well. Okay. So, so he'll go to jail tonight on that. I've been a sergeant for about seven and a half years, and uh, the thing I really enjoy about being a sergeant is being able to, to make some of the decisions that, that I feel are correct. And when my people back me up and my superiors back me up, it's a, it's a great sense of recognition that you know that you, know, you had the chance to make a good decision and you were backed up by your supervisors in making that decision. We're trying to catch up to a car from West Virginia. Undercover officer just saw him buy drugs down on a dead end road. We're going to try to intercept him here. Put your hands! Put your hands up! Everybody, hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! What I tell you, put your hands up! Front passenger, will he ditch some stuff on the floor? Back up 3182. Sit down with him. Sit down with them. Hands on the roof. Out. Put it in park. Keep your hands on that seat. Don't move them. One, hold on. Around the back. Hands on the trunk. Do not move. 182, I need a female here if you have one, please. Spray it out. Spray it out. Oh, oh. You want to just hold him for a second? Um, I think they right shot in, up already. It's right in there. Yeah, because he... Dash, so you can see it already. Yeah, he ditched some as we pulled up. Right yeah. Well, the other guy ditched some up front, too. Where is it? Tell, hey, tell him watch that hand right there. Right in the center console. Watch the yeah. Right yeah, here it is. See it right there in the center? This is what he was ditching. Who was? You, you, you was. Right there on the center console. And here's console. the back one. Right down here. It already out in the bag over there. See it right there in the yep. middle. Clint, cuff him up. Got any more? Be behind your back. Tell me the truth. No. Can you tell me where it's at? Yeah. How many did you get? When? Just now? Yeah. Ten okay. of them. Do me a favor and lean up against the car here. What, they rest them in the car? Lean up. Just step forward and lean up against the car. You don't have to lean down like that. Just lean yourself against it, all right? There's one right on the floor here, too. Hun, is this the one you were... No. Ma'am, is this the one? It's right on the floor oh, in front of you. Boy. How often do you come to Pittsburgh to buy your hair? Every day. How many do you use a day? Anywhere from five to ten bags a day. And what are you paying for these? Ten bucks a pill. How you I mean, ten bucks a bag. How are you affording that, then? In addition uh, how to are you doing life, that? I don't pay any bills. I live with my mom. I live with my grandparents. I have no I have no bills. I have a cell phone bill that I haven't even paid. They're getting ready to shut it off. They feed me. They clothe me. This is what I spend my money on. So you spend over $400 a I week work, on heroin? I work to get high, yes. Do you ever think about doing something else? Yeah, I like getting out. Yeah, I, I've been to rehabs. What do you have a degree in? Tell you. What do you have Business a degree in? Business administration, marketing. 
I went to West Liberty State College. I've been, in a, I've been out of, I graduated high school in 97, and I have a four-year college degree. Have you been arrested before? Yes. How many times? Up here? I think at least three. You know, this time you got seven bags of heroin. Your fourth time being arrested in front of the same judge. I've had four of those seven bag bags of heroin. Four of those bags are mine. But no, seven bought? of those bags are yours. You, no, but you, you bought them. I you only forgot. had forty dollars. Okay, check this out. You bought thirteen bags, right? But most of the money was forty dollars. But you made the purchase. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. But listen, yes, what are you saying? I'm not denying that. You had one stamp bag on on the floor in front of your driver's seat, just laying there. Okay. One there. You had one in your pocket. That's two. Okay. The rest of them were down the front of your pants. So I these have... all came off of you. These didn't come off of anybody else. Whether you were going to give them to them is another story, but these are all yours. These are all found on you or where you were sitting. So you're being charged with these seven bags of heroin right here. All right, we're going to take you down to jail now, so try to make the good decisions this time. All right? I'm on the Suboxone medication. You didn't find nothing on me. I don't know. You had a loaded needle right up in front of you and a stamp bag of heroin on the floor in front of you. That wasn't my so, stamp bag of heroin in front of you. There was no stamp So you want me to believe that you guys all came here, you came with him knowing to buy heroin. He was mixing four bags of heroin in the back. Yeah. So everybody was going to shoot up at you. There's three needles ready it. to go, so you weren't going to shoot up. But I, I didn't have nothing in my possession at the time when you pulled me over, when you pulled us over. Nothing okay, was we're not going to argue your court case out here. But you I, had. I know, I know, I know. But you see what I'm saying? Though? It's yes. not like you came up here to not shoot dope. You came up here to shoot dope. I know. I, I so the know. Suboxone isn't really helping you all that much. Can I? Is there any way that I can like smoke a cigarette or something real yeah, quick? Yeah, you've been straight with us, so we'll take you over the back of the wagon. We'll let you have a square before okay. we take you down. I roll, all right? I, I roll my own, man. I know you guys. Probably you have one already rolled because I'm not going to roll one for you. I, I can roll it right behind my back like this. All right, step over here. We'll take I, care. I, you've been, I'd appreciate you've it. You've been cooperative with us. Yeah, we'll anything, we'll take care of you. All right. Anything else you need to know, sir? I mean, I, I told you like. Okay. I mean, I'll give you. Is this yours? Is that your handwriting? Those are directions to a methadone clinic. That's my writing. That's your writing? Yes, sir. So obviously at some point, you were going to go to a clinic. It says right here, clinic is on the right, next to the dry cleaners. Yes, sir. Why didn't you follow these directions? I, I don't know why I didn't go to the clinic, sir. Why did you come here? I mean, you had you took the time to write them down. So you obviously, at some point in your life, you've made a little mental decision that I'm going to get some help. I'm going to do something different. You wrote these directions down, then you folded them up, you threw them in the back seat of the car, and you drove here to buy heroin. This ain't the life I want to live. Okay. You know you're going to jail today, right? Yeah. All right. Do you know who? Do you know who sent you to jail? Tell me who sent you to jail. Why are you going to jail today? Who Who is responsible, I'm responsible for you going to jail? I'm going to jail. That's the answer I wanted to hear. Moved up here in '92 from Phoenix and got involved in a little bit of a loss prevention and security and interacting a lot with the Spokane Police Department and the men and women of the department and found out that it was a good bunch of. I've been here in Pittsburgh for 12 years and uh, really grown to love the city. And that's why I do what I do here because that's where I'm bringing my family up and it's where I work. We're gonna head up here. We get a lot of crack addicts up here. Um, drug dealers will actually come to the area deal openly to the crack addicts and then uh, they'll leave the area. I'm going to turn off the lights so we can kind of sneak on on them a little bit here. You want something right here? He just handed them to him. What you got, fire alarm? So what's up to? I'm doing good. How you doing? We got money. Let's check these two dudes. Hey, Pittsburgh please. He's reaching, Bri. Don't do it. He's got a gun, Bri. Get Put your down. hands up, up right now. Get down. Don't move. Get on the ground. He dropped the gun on the porch. Oh. Put your hands where I can see him. Don't, Don't move. Don't move. Put your hands where I can see him. I got rock right here, Bri. You got rock? Yeah. Give me this I hand I knew he right just here. dealt to him. Give me this hand right here. Put your hand there and shut up. He got a pipe right here, too. What are you thinking? Keep your hands where I can see him. You got here. Cuff him up. I got it. I got it. Here, hold this. Right. I got it. Put your hands behind your back right now. Go ahead. I'm gonna recover the firearm. What that do, sir? Don't move. Keep your head down on the ground. Just one piece, Tom. If that's all he had in front of him, Brian. I didn't see right. anything. Here, you got him. You yeah. It's right there on the other side. Yeah. Know? I, I saw him went to go reach it, 
But you were already on him. There it is, right there. Yeah. Keep your hands there. Don't move. Where do you live? Settle down, man. Pick that up, man. I swear to God, man. We mean you just what? You just walk around picking up guns? Man, I don't like that. You had a gun. What? What do you think's going on? You you just student, found a gun and you just picked it up and you decided you were gonna hold it while you were selling crack on the corner. Sir, you wasn't selling me no crack. Oh, you're a straight hustling you crack. We need one selling crack. Your hand. I got no money. I oh, did. You had that money and you dropped it that he just gave you. No, that I'm money. I'm a girl. Sir. I swear to sir, check my pocket. Come here, stand up. Come on, roll up. Roll up. You're straight hustling crack. I swear to God, sir. Listen. Look at me. I did not sell crack, sir. I come swear here. to God. Come here, come here, come here. Real quick. No, no, no. Don't stand by this gun. I need this. No, no. I'm not running. I swear to Stand right there. Spread your legs. Turn on your side. Now, listen. What's your first name? Come in, sir. Green. <laughs> We walked up, we gave it. I thought that was a dude's ass, to tell you the truth, but he got a mustache. We gave it right to him. We saw you. No, sir! Relax. Well, it's funny that you had so this I'm about in to get in trouble. Too. With who? My mom, you Put guys. Open up your pipe. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Stand Spit up. it all out. Just Spit it all out. It's time. Ah. Is he getting more out of his mouth? Ah. Yeah, he got a ton of it in his mouth. No, sir. Get down. You got like a whole. You got like a whole mouthful of crack. Look, 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 look. You tell me you ain't hustling. That's not hustling. What's going on? Man? We whirl up. They got a hand-to-hand -hand, uh, transaction going on. We pulled up to see what was going on. We were gonna get out. Uh, as soon as we did, he turned around and reached in and pulled a gun. He had a little 380. Almost got shot. He reaches in his pants and pulls that out so and drops it right over. Honestly, I thought I'd be able to have it. What do you think happens when you have crack in a gun and, and you get caught selling on the corner? I wasn't selling anything. Wasn't selling anything. I swear to God, sir. I'm caught red handed. Whatever. You know, I was not. If you check her pocket and check my pocket, I have three dollars. But I mean, you go to jail when that happens. Well, why'd you drop that money when we got out of the car? I had money? You had the three dollars in your hand that you dropped. Yeah. All right. Oh. Loser for the rest of my life. You're at least a drug dealer. I'm not a drug dealer. You ever been arrested before? Never, sir. I go to school. I go to college. I'm broke. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm broke. I just wanna go to school. Man, I'm in debt with credit. If you check my pocket, look at my my wallet. I got credit cards and. Is that why you're out there slinging? Cause you got credit card debt. Are you trying to make a couple? Honestly, I'm trying to make a couple extra bucks trying to go to school. That's what every. That's the truth. I can deal with that. But don't lie to me. And this is not my career. I'm not. I don't have to be out here. I'm trying to. Come on, stand up. These guys are gonna take you. My mom. Go ahead. Yeah, she ain't gonna be happy. Watch your head. You have a crack pipe. Mm -hmm. A rod to push it. Mm -hmm. Standing on a corner where any. Let me finish. Anybody could come and buy crack, and you're standing next to a dude who got a mouthful of crack. Okay. And a gun. And there's a piece of crack laying on the ground right next to you. Well, I don't. And you're just you're just friendly conversing. Let's go get a smoke. You got pipe in hand with a rod ready to go. Man. I mean, you, were you gonna try to work out something for later? You, you were gonna go hustle a couple dollars or what? I wasn't doing anything. All right, Michelle. Your ride's here. Mm -hmm. Our focus was that gun. Yeah, the last you know, I ain't worried about that little pieces of crack in his mouth at that point. I'm worried about that gun. You know, that crack ain't gonna kill us. That gun's gonna kill us. So it's all good. We got the dope and the gun. All right, let's go do paperwork. All right. I've been here for about seven and a half years now. You really have to want to be a cop, and you've almost always had to want to be a cop to do it. It's a unique job, and it takes a unique person to do it. You're out here. You're challenged. Uh, you get to meet a lot of different types of people and try to help solve their problems and at least fix their problems for a short period of time. We're going to back up an officer on a DV. Gal calling in saying her ex-boyfriend's outside threatening to shoot her with a shotgun. A5, we have any more on this car? Supposedly picking them up, all that she's describing it as is a green passenger car. 8-5, what's this guy look like? He's still in her apartment. 
Eighty five, he's southbound from here. Get on the ground! Eighty five, we're southbound through the yard, he's going eastbound towards Haven. That's in uh, Regal. And we got him in the alley here. I give up. All right, dude. Hand out. I give up. Hand out. Get your hand out right now. Let him go. 85. Let him go. Let go. Will you grab him? We're in the Just alley. Let him go. All right. Uh, south All right. Diamond at Haven. Go for it. I can't take it, dude. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry. All right. I think we're 28-18-something. Oh. Okay. 85. Right. You got any yeah. weapons? No, I don't. I don't know if I'll someone can check one. that car that he was in. Relax. Hmm. I'm the car. I am. Let me relax. The one on uh, at the Martindale. It's a blue I car. I got a phone in my other pocket, dude. I don't care about phones. That's all I got. You hear about this? It's gonna bite me or stick me. You understand? Yeah, I hear you. I'm all all right, right, to your right. Let's go. All right. Oh, keep going. Hey, five, go ahead. Oh, and, uh, I can't. I'm yeah. drinking all day, dude. Hey, it's pretty good for two and a half rocks. I think it was like one. <laughs> five, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm forty something years old. So am I, brother. Stand up. Let's go, man. Get up, you're alright, you're running pretty good for two and a half blocks. I couldn't make it, I fell right down there. Your feet don't work no more? Huh? Your feet don't work no more? Oh, no. Have a seat. Well. Your head. Have a seat. Okay, Fuck can I head. ask you a question? There we go. Yeah, yeah as soon as we get all done. Hey, what am I being arrested for? Right now? Yeah. Obstruct How about obstructing? Obstructing for running? Obstructing, obstructing yeah. and running from the police, we're here to investigate a crime. Yeah. Oh. Well, you'll find out. There's a witness that overheard the guy making threats to kill our complainant victim here. Turn to her uncle in this apartment. <clears throat> Hello. Hi there. Uh, I think she's out there. She is. Are you her uncle? Yes. Can I talk to you for a quick sec? Sure. I don't need to come in if you don't want. I just talk to you. All right. Did you hear any of the stuff that was going on tonight? Oh, hell yes. He was standing out in the middle of the street, hollering obscenities. Matter of fact, I can get you. I've had this stalking problem before with my, one of my other nieces. Okay. Uh, this is the first time he showed up that I actually heard him holler something that was a good old Yeah. Did he make any threats or anything that you heard? Well, I couldn't hear any direct threats, but I know okay. that I heard obscenities. Did you hear anything hear about a shotgun goodies. or something? Well, now, I heard her say that at one time he had a shotgun, but okay. she didn't know if he had it now. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. So you didn't like, hear him make far, those threats? Yeah, as far as I am concerned, he was banned from my home. I didn't want him on my phone. Okay. I have done everything but assault him. Right. And I have to save my niece. Stop me from doing that tonight. Right. Okay. So, you know, I got to give her credit for that. Okay. So he's been outside for three hours or better, just he's yelling and hooping and hollering. Huh? Yelling. Well, like I say, he's been out there. He's been hollering and he's been calling on the phone. He left some messages. I got off and erased them, so I can't help you with that. There okay. wasn't anything really threatening in there. Yeah, just... He threatened, just, to, he, he threatened to leave her, which is what she wanted yeah, in the first place. Yeah, that's a big threat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Larry. I appreciate your time. All right. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. She says you have a shotgun at your house. I don't have one. <laughs> I would never have one. Did you make any threats to kill uh, Larry or her today? No, I didn't. Will you say nothing about killing him or having a shotgun? No, I didn't. Well, why would all these people over here tell me that if that's not true? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to talk to Lisa. I tell her, man, just talk to you guys' face. And I wasn't being a about, you know, I wasn't sure. calling her bitch, all that kind of crap. Right. I just, you know, I was just talking like me and you are. And I said, man, come down. From all the way down here, all the way up there, you're talking like you and me? I was like... You had to have been talking louder than that. Huh? You had to have been talking no, louder No, she had her head hanging out the window. Oh, okay. And I don't talk that loud anyway. Yeah. You know, I said to her, I'm down here and talk to me. Whatever right. the problem is, come talk to me. Okay. And that's just what happened. 
Yeah. What does she say about a shotgun? The last time she saw it, he had it in his car. He okay. took it out of his car and left it at his sister's house where Moses was at. So. Okay. Um, that's about it for tonight. She's just scared. She does. Uh, she believes he'll come back. She believes he will. In his yeah. intoxicated state, will possibly carry yeah. out a threat. Sure. Sounds like uh, Moses did a sweep of the car when he first went by. I was over there. I didn't see the shot.